like, share, comment. Also consider join, joining membership of plenty of content. So much, so much will keep you busy. And I can tell the sun is already, uh, ah! Ah! oh shit. The first day of school is the best day of school. The first day is the best day. The first day of school is the best day of school. What's up, everybody? All right, um, I enjoyed my little rest. I just had a drink of my nutritional drink and some cold water, use the bathroom. I just want to come out here to the lake while it's still warm. I might do another kayak run, it depends. It's been raining a lot, so I don't, uh, it's hard to come out here to the lake. And you see, you know when it rained a lot because if you've seen my previous videos, this was blue was blue now you you see the dye has washed away to the creek and out into uh, the river and now it's just this kind of like greenish gray so anyways let me get off the bike here <laughs> put the brakes on i don't want to end up accidentally whiskey throttling my bike into the lake here uh, all right Get on the bike and get out of here. It'll just uh, five gear seven. Yeah, school has started, everybody. School has started. Get out here where the Sidewalk meets the uh, it's level with the uh, street out here. I don't have to get any bumps. Get bumpy. All right, let's get out of here. So yeah, school has started. People are enjoying the day out here. I see people walking, running their dogs. I see uh, a lot of a lot of things out here. And today, today is also <laughs> today is also the first day of school. I sing this song every day. Or every time my kids start the first day of school, I sing this song. You probably you probably know where this song came from, but I sing this song <laughs> and it drives them crazy and I love doing it. That's the great thing about being a, a parent is you can sing this song to your kids and uh, the, the sheriff waiting for people to run the red, the stop sign here. The first day of school is the best day of school. The first day is the best day. The first day of school is the best day of school. <laughs> Sing that song to your kids on the first day of school or the day before the first day of school. The first day of school is the best day of school. The first day is the best day. <laughs> uh, it gets kind of old for the kids, but... <laughs> I love doing it. Oh, goodness. And that's a perk of being a parent. <laughs> One perk, you know. You teach your kids about the first day of school. So, yeah, today's first day of school started early. I guess because uh, everybody was doing virtual learning. So now everyone's, everybody's got to go back to school. After a year and a half, which is almost two years, of not going to school. They're doing everything virtually online. So my oldest is driving. My youngest 
my wife, because my wife is working out of the house, my wife is taking the youngest to school. So, man, I slept in. And when I woke up, nobody was there. I was like, except my wife. My wife was still there. But other than, other than that, no, no kids were here. And I was like, oh, this is, this is amazing. And I start singing. The first day of school is the best day of school. The first day is the best day. So, yeah. Look at that parking lot full. All right, everyone's going back to school. I love the first day of school. Best day. The best day is the first day of school. The first day of school is the best day of school. All right. So everyone's going in. My, my oldest is graduating this school year. So, you know, we're getting all the pictures. We're, we're buying everything. We're doing all that. Not for me or her. It's, it's for grandma. I know grandma wants all that. Senior pictures, prom pictures, homecoming pictures. Um, the, even, though, even though my oldest never played any sport, we're gonna get the Letterman's jacket, we're gonna get the ring, we're gonna, we're gonna do all that. My, my oldest really doesn't care. Oh, there's a little speedometer over here. It says 25. All right, so I'm going 25. Oh, it dropped down. Now the 20, 21, 22, 23. I don't know what, why I did that. 26, 28. Anyways. Now that school started, the, the sheriffs are enforcing the speed limits out here. The sheriff is enforcing the speed limit out here. So that's kind of what you're seeing. I already saw a sheriff over there at the middle school. There's a middle school elementary like a, a combined, it's the same building, elementary, middle school, and then there's a high school on that same road. So they're gonna be busy. And you know, with, uh, with the pandemic going on, with COVID going on, and, uh, and uh, you know, going back to school, it's gonna get crowded, it's gonna get rowdy. People are gonna get frustrated, probably waiting in line maybe, who knows. So glad that they're out there. All right. So I woke up this morning and I was like, wow, it's quiet. Quiet. Another sheriff. Another sheriff out here. So I come out and uh, nice and quiet. And I was like, yes, I'm going to ride the bike today. I'm going to do it a little bit earlier in the morning because uh, in the afternoon it's going to start getting uh, more overcast. That's what's in the forecast. So I just want to get it done. It's a little bit cooler too. A little bit cooler. And oh, there's Constable and probably that other white SUV was a Constable. It was a Constable car. It, it was like white on white. So you, you couldn't see it. It's kind of like a piping white. Reflective white on white. There's a car trailing me. I hope they don't decide to pass me up at the smallest part of the road. Anyways, so ride the bike today. Uh, try to get fit again. Oh, this try to. So I'm gonna try to get fit again. And uh, because I gained some weight from all my uh, vacationing, road tripping. vacationing and road tripping I gained some weight I went, I went on the scale so yes I, I gained about five extra pounds so so uh, that five extra pound came from somewhere probably all the sugary drinks I was drinking and yes I was drinking a lot of drinks because uh, it was hot and I, need, I wanted to keep my energy up I wanted to stay hydrated because man it was it was really hot six flags and plus we're eating out a lot too and you know when you eat out a lot they they put a lot of there's a lot of calories to uh, uh, these restaurants fast food or normal restaurants I mean literally 
you you would have to eat a salad only and a salad just doesn't satisfy me unless you top it with steak or chicken or something you know but you know that defeat the purpose right <laughs> That would defeat the purpose. That would defeat the purpose of having that steak. So, anyway, so, you know, again, when I go out and we travel, I, I, I do gain weight because I eat everything. Because I, I don't know what it is, but in the back of my mind, my fear is I'm not, I don't know when my next meal is. And we may get into a situation where we won't be able to eat. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you know, you ate a light meal. Now you're, now you're, I don't know, stuck somewhere or on stranded on the road or, or something happens, some emergency situation happens where, you know, you won't be eating maybe the next 12 hours. So that's just that's why I just eat. Plus, I don't want to waste waste food. So sometimes the kids don't eat their meals or whatever or we take it to go, whatever leftover we have, we take it to go and eat it at the hotel. It saves us, uh, it saves us some money so we don't have to uh, buy food again when we have leftovers. So that's what, uh, so we, we try to eat all the food that we order or we buy. Thank you. All right, here's the jump. It's been a while. Let's see if I can do it. Can I do it? Can I remember how to do it? Do the jump. Oh, yeah. That was fun. That was fun. It's always fun to do the jump. Do it safely, though. If you're going to do something like that, do it safely. Don't be reckless. So... I'm gonna ride today, maybe I'll ride tomorrow. I can tell, I can tell summer's over because uh, my Blink camera systems, my Blink camera system is uh, picking up the sunsets. I can tell that the earth is now tilting or has rotated to the tilt to the point that the tilt of the axis is now shifting because my, my blink cameras pick up the sunset. It, 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 the sun triggers the blink cameras, you know. And so, uh, and when clouds pass by and then it's dark and then it's bright again, the, the, the blink cameras like pick that up. And depending on where the sun is, uh, I could see it in my blink cameras where it is in relation to, you know, where my house is. And I could tell the sun is already, uh, ah! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh god! Oh, 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 oh god! Uh, I, I don't. I think those are casetas. I don't know what it was, but. And I can tell the sun is already. Something <laughs> scared the crap out. I, uh, oh god, I don't like bugs. I never like bugs. Okay, I never like bugs. So, you know, I, it's not like it's not like <laughs> it's, it's not, you know in front of my kids. I'm like the man, right? Now, I'm not scared of bugs. What's the big deal, right? But in, <laughs> inside, deep inside, I don't like bugs. I don't like touching bugs. And everything. So I think I don't know what it was. I think they were casetas. I'm not sure, but it was, it, something hit my shoulder and I heard the flapping sound of uh, wings. And I can tell the sun is already... Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I was like freaking, freaking out. <laughs> I was all freaking out. Oh goodness. Anyways, uh, and then then I realized it's a bug. It hit my shoulder and I thought it might be on my shoulder and my 
crawling up my neck, you know, that's 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 a always creepy feeling for me. And so when I looked in front again, I saw all these little I saw all these little uh <laughs> bugs flying around I think they were attached I don't know but they were probably like this big which you know anything this big I don't like if it's a bug so uh, yeah sorry <laughs> I, I, I scream like a little girl <laughs> oh jeez. the reason I freaked out is anything like this big right anything anything this big it almost looked like a wasp or a bee, and man, last thing I want to do is hit into a bee or hit into a wasp. And have the wasp land on me and then sting me. Okay, that's 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 why I was screaming like a little girl, because I've been, since I moved to uh, Texas, I've been stung by a red wasp, like, I think three times, and let me tell you, ow. It's not enjoyable. I don't go into anaphylactic shock or anything, but I do swell up. I guess that's considered some kind of anaphylactic shock, but I can still breathe, you know. I guess it would depend where they stung me. First time was on the back of my head, and wow, that is big old uh, bulge on the back of my head. Um, another time was on my leg. And I think the other time was also on my leg. So two times on my leg on, I don't know, each leg maybe. And then one on my head. And uh, it's not pleasant. So I was, that's why I was freaking out. I thought, you know, when I see something flying and I see something this big, I think wasp, like right away. Wasp. So that's why you see me freaking out. Don't want to be stung by a wasp. Last thing I want to happen is to be stung by a wasp. All right, wait for this truck to pass on by, and then uh, I'm headed back home. I'm just doing a quick round. Yeah, it might rain later on in the afternoon. That's why I'm just doing it real fast. Plus, I got grass to cut. I got to cut the grass. Grass is growing so fast. At the end of the year, at the end of the summer. The grass grows really fast. I guess they know that time is almost up, so they're just growing really fast as they can, getting getting pumped up for the winter or for the fall. So got to do all that. I got to do a lot of stuff. I got to maintain the yard. Keeps me busy. My back is feeling a lot better. My lower back. I'm noticing less aching. Uh, it's still there. The, the joint is not completely healed up, my SI joint, because when I do get out of bed or in certain situations, I can feel a little ache, but it is a lot better than it was, when, when was it, February? I don't know when, January, February, March, around that time, it was really bad. But I can't believe it's been this long and I still feel the pain. And this, this is... Uh, one of those injuries where it's just going to take a long time to heal up. And uh, I think it's important to be active. Like this type of injury, joint injury, typically joint injury, or your bones, they heal better or recover better from activity. So. If you, if you have a, a back injury, don't don't be sedentary, you know, be active. Your bones uh, react to your activity and they strengthen up, heal up. That's what, from my research, but I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor. But I always try to stay active, be out in the sun, get some vitamin D, natural vitamin D. I get plenty of that here. I get too much. I have to cover myself. the bike, getting some exercise, you know, it may not be like 
compared to not having a uh, regular bike, of course I'm not going to get that much exercise compared to a regular bike, but I'm, I am getting out, I am riding, I am pedaling, I'm creating blood flow, you know, exercising the lungs, the muscles, the legs, something to tell my body, hey, I'm still active, we got to, you know, we got to keep those muscles pumped, we got to keep those lungs working, we got to strengthen them bones, keep them, keep them strong, so physical activity is better than no physical activity. I think I'll take the shortcut back home. Doesn't seem too wet. Oh wow. I took uh, some allergy medication and I'm still getting a runny nose. So the ragweed is really off the charts around here. The ragweed pollen. Okay. All right. My exit, make my right hand signal. Maybe, uh, maybe what hit me was a dragonfly. They're out right now because I saw, I, I saw it look like a two bugs on top of each other, and right now the dragonflies are probably mating right now. And that's probably what hit me, but. Man, just freaks me out. Freaks me out. Ooh, oh, bumpy. Alright. Okay. like like share comment also consider join joining membership of plenty of content so much so much will keep you busy hope you enjoyed the ride try to enjoy your ride also uh, if you don't have an electric bike try to get one if you can at a reasonable price I would avoid these Indiegogo or these Kickstarters. You never know if they're going to come through. But anyways, I'll see you all on the next next ride. Maybe maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Until next time, everyone. Bye-bye. See you all later.